Today on MTV2, Cohn, the bassist for Sum 41, is branching out with a new band and a new identity. We scored an invite to the set of the Operation's new video to see what Dr. Dynamite's got on the table. Sum 41's Cone and Todd Morris of H2O together form The Operation. We check in with the good doctors on the set of their new video, Sayonara. Check it out. Just so you guys know, I want my little disclaimer. The characters that we play in our band are sort of arrogant and, <laughs> so, and a bit sexist. Oh, if we offend it. anyone, it's, it's, it's part of the joke. My alter ego is Todd Morris, who played in such bands as H2O. Hot goal! Hot goal! <laughs> and um, Juliet and the Licks. And this guy's in some band. What is it? I can't remember. Some 41. Some, some 41. Yeah. Yeah. You're a big fan. He's, he's the cute one. Remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Show and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I must have been drunk because yeah. I liked it. This particular song that we're shooting a video for, I think we had a, one of the first songs. We've had, we had a phone conversation. Yeah, let's do a band. Yeah, f you. You know, it, it wasn't real, was it? Well, did no. you mean it? I never meant it. I okay. still don't. Really mean it. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> don't our doesn't our music have to be good to get a record deal? Well, don't know. Um, there's a lot of bands out there. I can yeah. Mean. Well. Here's a new one. Here, here's a new one. <laughs> yeah, Put it this way. Famous guy got it for us. We just wanted to like uh, make something that we weren't doing with our other two bands. Exactly. And we didn't want to overthink it a lot, and we didn't want to like even like make it say like we want to be this kind of band. We just kind of wrote songs and and then. We just turned out the way it did. We didn't even really, we didn't even really think about it that much. Yeah, I mean, uh, Cone and I are professionals, p -p -p professionals, mm -hmm. and uh, this was the most unprofessional attempt at making music we've ever done. And I think that gives it a charm, you know. I mean, almost everything we wrote and recorded was either, either drunk or hungover. I know pretty much every vocal track I have on <laughs> <laughs> We were on the Warp Tour together in 2001, yeah. and uh, then we toured our two bands just as like a tour after the Warp Tour, and then a lot of tours. I'm saying, right? Yeah. And, and then it real Canadian. And then, <laughs> and then uh, so then we just decided to write music together mm -hmm. for fun, and then uh, that was like four years ago or five years ago, four years ago, and was then it? we decided that we were off tour for so long uh, this time around that we just said. Let's make an album. What is that? What, what, what is that? Chianti? Oh. Come on in here. There okay. is the man. We'll catch the director in his native habitat. Here he is. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. The man responsible. What I win? The man responsible for. What I win? All the incredible drama that'll be captured. I'm the reason why you got the crop of feel. <laughs> You're welcome. It's not hard directing any video. You really just sit there, you got a nice big comfy chair, and then you sort of point and tell people new stuff, and you know, it's pretty easy. It's because it's Cohen, I know him, so I don't feel bad if I'm yelling at him. And Todd, I know a little less so I just relish when I, in, in, in yelling at him and bossing him around. It's great. I love I love the concept. <laughs> Steve came up with it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. Well, the song is actually about uh, a young band that goes on tour in Japan and mistakes the professional groupies for someone that actually cares about them mm -hmm. and want, falls in love with one of these girls that's with every single band that comes through town. The concept's sort of about that uh, that Cone and I are on tour, possibly in our separate bands, Juliet and Licks, <laughs> H2O, <laughs> Sum 41. Is that you? Um, anyways, uh, so, and it, it turns out that we may, 
they have had the same girl in Japan, and uh, and now we're now we're in our characters, Dr. Rocco and Dr. Dynamite. We were in the emergency room delivering a baby, and I, I recognize the girl, and I'm like, oh, geez. Could be his baby. Could be my baby. Could be my ba ba baby. Could be his baby. Could be my baby. We flash back to his past nine months ago, and it shows them doing you know, the old. Yeah. Well, this is where my love scene goes down, actually. Yeah. Well, both of our love scenes. We're not sure. We're not sure who's got sloppy video. seconds yet. The video doesn't yeah. indicate. We got that. Are we all right? Yeah. Thank you very much for waiting. And then uh, the baby's delivered, and the baby comes out. <laughs> This is real. This is, yeah, this so is the baby real. comes out and it's got my hair. <laughs> I'm serious. I, I, I'm serious. See, how are we doing so far? I mean, I, I felt a little bit awkward in my, in my love scene. I gotta tell you, I don't, I don't feel like I was, I don't feel like I was, you know, Robert Redford slash, I don't know. Paul Newman slash um, John yeah. Hughes. I felt like I was more an awkward rock guy who's only had sex in front of people a few times. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you like that? You like that one, didn't you? <laughs> he likes his own stuff. <laughs> so much in common. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> anyway, Steve's doing a great job, regardless of what you may hear later. Hey, I am Dr. Dynamite. And I'm Dr. Rocco. And you're watching our new video for the Operation MD. It's called Sayonara on MTV. So good. On MTV. But yes, it is good.